This one is for most of February and part of March. I think I've kind of lost track. I don't know. This is March 10th and it's just time because the box is Please like, share, and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. Alrighty, so here we go with another episode of Use It or Lose It, and um, my box is overflowing. I also still have some stuff in the Etsy shop for Purge. Now, they haven't moved, um, assuming that you're all not interested in them. I will put the listings in the um, description below. There are um, descriptions of what are in the boxes um, in the Etsy listing. I also have two large envelopes full of old artwork. And um, if you are, if they don't sell by the end of the month at the latest, then I'm going to just disassemble the boxes um, and donate stuff and or throw things away, to be perfectly fair. Um, I would like to see the artwork, even if it's not great artwork, go somewhere to somebody who can use it. But if y'all aren't interested, you're not interested. I'm not going to force it on you. Um, that being said, there is a code for the Etsy shop right now, uh, thanks 20, T-H-A-N-K-S 20, all uppercase, and that will give you 20% off anything you order in the Etsy shop, including the purge boxes. All right, let's move to the table and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, the first thing you're going to see right there are those two very large envelopes of old artwork. They're overflowing, they're gigantic. If you want some of my old artwork um, or a whole bunch of my old artwork to play with, to collage with, to make a junk journals out of, there you go. There's two big envelopes. We also have these two large priority mailboxes, stuffed, packed, full, and ready to go. Again, if you are interested in buying one or both of them, the listings for those and these envelopes are in the video descriptions. Let's get to this box right here, shall we? We've got an open medium size priority mail flat rate box ready to go. Okay, so I recently used up this whole container of homemade mixed paints, gray paints. I just mixed a bunch of different colors of dark blue paints and black paints together, made sort of my own mix of Payne's Gray, and this is empty. I've used it all up, which was the intention of mixing them together in the first place, so this can go in the trash. I recently discovered I have a hoard of clips, whether they're clothes pins, um, plant clips, which I actually use here in the art room. I have a ton of them. I don't need all of them. Or different kinds of binder clips and things. I have too many. So I went through, I'm keeping the things that I love and the rest of them have got to go. I have this wood garland of cactus plants. Not sure why I bought that. I never used it. It's got to go. I have a plastic watercolor mixing tray. I'm not even sure that's going to fit in the box, so that might just need to go in the trash. I used up a bunch of paper this last month and chipboard, making journals and um, working on projects. These are the scraps. Now, normally I would throw these away, but I bet there's some junk journalers of you out there that could probably use these for something. It's some nice sort of Strathmore watercolor and thick mixed media paper. So I'm going to actually put that in there. I used up um, like six rolls of double stick tape. This is just one that I have left. These pens are all dead. Use them up. I used up this tiny jar of collage medium. I have a random felt snap like pocket envelope thing. Um, I don't need it for anything. What was in it got put somewhere else, so that's gonna go. Making sure I'm on camera. Yeah. Okay, so I have an empty watercolor box. 
Um, and it doesn't have any half pans or full pans in it, but the, the box is um, fine. It's um, barely used. It had my Kramer paints in it, but it, I put them somewhere else, so that needs to go. I have these two antique or vintage watercolor boxes. I was gonna use them for a assemblage project that I never did. They do have some paints in them. I'm, I'm at this point, I've had these like five years. I'm never gonna get to the project, so they're gonna go. I have some compression gloves. I have a lot of these. I don't need this particular pair. Um, I mean, you know, it's just me and I only have two hands. How many gloves do I need? So anyway, a right and a left. Um, I have these vinyl traveler's notebook pockets. So these are for a traveler's notebook. There are some vinyl pockets, not using them, so they gotta go. I have some puzzle pieces and game pieces. Again, I collect these kind of things for assemblage product projects and mixed media projects. My drawer I keep these kind of things in is full to overflowing. And when that happens, and I have more that needs to go somewhere, then they either need to go away or I need to use them up. In this case, we're gonna make them go away. Um, there is also some letter tiles. Some of these are from Scrabble. Uh, some of these are from another game that I don't remember what game was. I think it was something I picked up at the thrift store. Let me just gather them all. Hold on. Again, this is something I kind of have a lot of, and they need to go or they need to get used up. The box is empty now, yay. Um, so I have all of these, and there's random trash stuck in there. Um, there's nothing wrong with them, and they aren't necessarily letters that will spell anything, but I just, I, my drawer's full. They have to go away. And then I have one random mini domino. That's gotta go. So all of this, plus I'm gonna gather a few extras and I'm gonna put those in the box. So hang on just a second. Okay, found some more stuff. So I found a small collection of random envelopes or bags, little bags, and one tag. Um, there's actually two, yeah, two of this one. Great for junk journaling. Put those on it to the side so they don't get damaged. A bunch of paint chips. Now I have an upcoming class I'm teaching with Bea Grob and Chelsea and Peg Robinson and, and Petra Fuchs and Marie Linder. Anyway, um, I'll put a link to the class down below. Um, these paint chips, paint chips do play a part in my part of the class. I have a bunch of them left over. They're also great to make tags out of for your junk journals, or these ones that sort of open like books are great to make um, um, junk journals and art journals out of, to get collage images out of. Um, I have a lot of extra ones, so I'm going to put them in the box. I have a random scrap paper journal I made recently. The cover is a uh, print from one of my Art Foamies from the Art Foamies website, and you can find the link for that in the video description. The inside paper is extra paper out of one of my moleskins. I took some paper out of the back of it. I have a black drawing paper journal, which I made a while back out of some really nice black, kind of thicker black drawing paper, and the cover is one that I've um, drawn all over with a um, white gel pen some uh, printed, um, I think these are dryer sheets where I just kind of printed on them with like jelly plates and stuff. Random pieces of pin printed and painted scraps of paper. Again, great for junk journaling. A sheet of this pretty um, gold foiled Asian, I think it's some kind of prayer paper or something. I'm not actually sure, but I like it for junk journaling. Some, also some printed and stained papers that I personally did. And then some jelly prints that I did. So 
so all of those are going to be in this box. This medium box will be for sale in the Etsy shop. These other ones are already listed in the Etsy shop. And if you're interested, please look at the video description for links down below for everything mentioned. <sighs> on to the next, right? Okay, that's it for right now. Please support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups how you can by shopping in the Etsy shop or using um, becoming a patron over on Patreon. Not just for me, for any of your favorite creatives. We're all struggling right now as a world society and especially those in the creative industries. So um, please support how you can and uh, please wear a mask, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.